The safety car is an important part of Formula 1. Without it and the service it provides, there could be no race weekend, but behind the wheel of the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series or the Aston Martin Vantage, it's a very skilled driver who has to balance reporting to race control with driving at a pace suitable for F1 cars. Let's take a look at what it's like to be the safety car driver for Formula 1. Bernd Mylander has been the F1 safety car driver for over 23 years as he began the role in the year 2000. He has been present at every F1 race since then, except for two in 2001 and 2002. This means he's been to 419 race weekends as of the 2023 Miami Grand Prix. And as of 2018, Mylander has spent over 700 laps leading a Grand Prix. Bernd is employed by the FIA and works to ensure that the drivers and marshals remain safe during a race, neutralizing the field when an incident occurs by acting as a pace car to allow marshals to safely enter the track and remove debris or clear an incident. In the time he's been driving the safety car, the equipment inside has changed dramatically. He needs to be in constant communication with race control as much of what he does with the safety car is up to them, including when he's dispatched and how fast he can go. Whereas 20 years ago this was done with a hand radio, the car is now equipped with two digital radio systems and they can even receive emails. But how do you qualify for a job like this? Bernd was a talented racing driver before he was asked by the FIA to drive F1 safety car in 1999 and he's taken part in Formula Ford, the Porsche Carrera Cup and DTM and he's even won the Nürburgring 24 hours. And while safety is paramount to his job, if the conditions allow for it, he still likes to drive the Mercedes and Aston Martin cars on the limit to keep the cornering speeds fast enough so the F1 cars don't lose all their tyre temperature. Balancing the communication side of his role with the on-the-limit driving is tough, so Mylander has a co-driver who covers much of the communication with race control so Bernd himself can focus on assessing track conditions, driving, and keeping an eye on the F1 drivers behind him, who Bernd says all react differently to the safety car. Bernd has said that Michael Schumacher would always approach the safety car in his blind spot. The Valtteri Bottas is very very calm and keeps the correct distance, and that the way Max Verstappen drives behind has matured over the years. And while you might think it's distracting to have 20 F1 cars driving behind you, ultimately the way they drive is not down to Bernd, and it's the driver's job to cooperate with the safety car. In fact, where they have not, we've seen penalties handed to the drivers, like Sergio Perez in Singapore last year. Mylander's job is absolutely vital to Formula 1, and his ability to be at each and every race weekend and drive with consistency, while monitoring digital radios, GPS, and the F1 drivers behind him is incredibly impressive. In fact, so far, he's never made an error in his driving. Did you enjoy this insight into one of F1's more hidden jobs? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to follow Apex for the latest in the F1 world.